so here it is, the newest addition to the channel. This is a, of course, Miata. More specifically, it is a 1990 Miata. Uh, nothing's been really done to it other than it has some coilovers, um, but that's the extent of any modifications that it has. Now, obviously, before I can make any crazy additions to the car, I've got to fix some stuff. So the first thing being the door right here. So this is just totally trashed. Um, it's even got a little bit of damage on the side here, the mounting points. So I'm really going to have to pull this thing off and see uh, what I need to do in order to fit a brand new door that I have. Also, I have to get a new windshield. Um, the good news is, for the parts that I do need, I actually have a donor car. So let me show you the donor car that I have. Um, it's actually, the body is in much better shape. So here is the donor car. It is, like I said, the body panels are in much better shape, but it does have frame damage. It's got better wheels, but there's only three of them. So over here is where the frame damage is, so it doesn't come with a fender or anything. But the door is in great condition, so that's fine. So other thing this car has that the other car in the garage does not is a top. So I'm actually going to have to be moving this top onto the one in the garage. I'm also going to be taking some of the interior bits out of this one, like the door cards, that kind of stuff. So, like I said, this one's in much better shape, so perfect for a donor car, uh, especially since it has the frame damage. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be transplanting a lot from here uh, just to get the other one nice and drivable. All right, so first things first, um, I'm going to go ahead and try and get this door removed. So obviously some things that I'm dealing with is this is all jammed right in here, so I'll just unbolt it and then uh, I've got to figure out how to get the lock undone. Uh, but yeah, so gonna deal with this and I'll pick back up with you guys when I'm done with that. So in the interest of time, I'm not going to go into too much of a deep clean right now. I just want to get all the glass off of this side. Still need to vacuum out that side, probably take out the passenger seat. Um, but I also need to get behind here and clean this out so that way I can put the top on the car. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Alright guys, so I've been working on the Miata for a while. Um, I did not get a chance to get the top off of the other Miata uh, just because it's been raining nonstop and can't really cover it and take the top off and not damage or uh, have the interior in that one get wet. So for right now what I've got, I cleaned out a good bit of the Miata. This I did just a few minutes ago. I didn't really film it because uh, it's not something that's going to stay in the car. But basically what I did, since I'm tall, I took all the foam out of here. This was ripped anyways. This was the seat that was in there. It was trash, so it'll get thrown out. 
And then this back right here, I ended up ripping out all the foam back there and just sticking it back in there. So that way it's just a little bit more comfy of a fit. I got cleaned back there for the most part. Obviously it's not a deep clean like I said. I've been looking at this door. Basically where the door mounts, it's, uh, it's pretty warped. But um, I have some ideas about how I'm going to get that out. So that hopefully, fingers crossed, will work out. Got the wheel back on, got the bumper kind of sturdy. I do have to say early 90s Japanese cars have a ton of bolts and fasteners and everything for fenders, bumpers, everything. It's, it's almost kind of ridiculous. That is going to do it for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and cover this, put it outside, and uh, get back to work on it in the morning. So yeah, I will catch back up with you guys in just a second. And we're back. So the weather has cleared up, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the top off of the other Miata and then start transplanting parts from this Miata over to the other one. So top first and then uh, maybe some interior pieces. I finally got the top on the Miata. Um, it took quite a while, honestly, uh, just because there were a lot of stripped threads on the studs and uh, different mounting points and stuff. So I went ahead and retapped all those just to make sure everything fit right and I didn't, you know, cut any corners. So now the top is situated very nicely. I adjusted the latches underneath here. Uh, so that way it's super tight and creates a nice seal along here. I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I know I didn't get the door and the fender on and everything, but quite honestly, it took me a little bit longer to get that door off uh, than it probably should have. Honestly, I had to basically destroy the latching mechanism inside the door, and that just took forever to beat on and hammer on. So that leaves for the next video. I'm going to be getting the fender attached and the door attached. Now, in order to do that, I have to work on straightening the side of the, the body here. Obviously these mounting points should not be curved in at all. Um, this one is kind of all messed up. But, uh, but yeah, so that should definitely not look like that. So I'm gonna have to find out a way to pull that out as best I can. And then once I start to try and mount the door, I might have to do some finagling to get everything to fit right. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty pretty gnarly dent that I'm gonna have to take care of. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It'll be linked in the description box down below. So that way you guys can check out what is going on with the Miata and the M3. If you guys have not already, make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, also, drop a comment if you guys have any questions or suggestions. That way um, I can respond back to you guys and we can have a little discussion in the comment section. That'd be great. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. That way you guys can stay up to date. Also, click that little notification button. That way you guys see when the videos are out. Uh, soon as they come out and you don't possibly miss one. Anyways, thank you guys again so very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.